Hi everyone, I'm so excited for today's video. I will be showing you how to make a trinket dish using gold flakes. Now they're not actually gold flakes, like they come in these small sheets and the ones I ordered off of Amazon, I think there's about like 50 square sheets um, and then I just have to break them apart. And they're also really inexpensive. I will post a link in the description if anyone's interested. Um, and one sheet goes a long way. You really don't need a lot for a trinket dish. So I would say um, like one sheet would probably be enough to make four of these. So I'm just breaking it apart and lining it up on a bit of an angle and the right side will actually be filled with a color so in this case i'm going to be making a base jasmineite mix um, which is obviously white and then i'm going to transfer a little bit of it to a different dish and i'll add a color i haven't decided yet what, what color i'm going to use i'm kind of leaning towards like a beige or like a oxidized yellow i'm not sure i'm gonna grab my pigments and i'll decide in a bit okay so i ended up mixing two different uh, colored pigments i used an oxidized yellow and then just like a sort of like a darker brown gray color and this is the final result i'm just pouring it right now um so it's just kind of like a cappuccino brown i love this color um so hopefully i'm gonna get a nice clean line in the middle and just really hoping that this color is not gonna like unevenly seep through into the white which has happened before uh, when I was practicing, I mean, I'm still practicing, I'm still new to making jasmineite products, but I think now I've made about eight or ten of these, so I'm getting better, I'm getting there. Um, so it looks like I will get a nice clean line in the middle, and I just made enough, <laughs> so that makes me so happy, because sometimes, even though I use the same measurements, it seems like it's not enough, I don't know why but perfect okay so made the right amount and just finishing up here scraping the bottom of the bowl i really have to get a better um like a pitcher or some kind of plastic container where i can actually mix these um, more efficiently but since i'm still practicing i'm just using this glass bowl and this tiny like I don't know what you call these. I think you put sauces in them in restaurants. I just randomly have it. And it's not big enough like for mixing. I mean, it works, but I just wish I had something a little bit bigger. But it does the job. Okay, and for the final part, we just need to tap around a few times to get rid of any air bubbles that may have formed at the bottom of the mold. Um, I'm not worried too much about the ones on this side, like that's facing me, because um, then that's going to be the bottom surface anyway, and I will sand it down. But we definitely need to tap vigorously to get rid of those air bubbles on the other side because once we take it out we don't want to have any huge dents uh, caused by air bubbles um, obviously like tiny ones are inevitable and it's just part of making jasmineite products but definitely the first few times when i made um, a trinket dish i just tapped it very lightly, very gently, because I thought maybe the mix was going to spill out or it would somehow affect the curing process, and they came out with really, really big dents. Okay, so I'm praying that this one turned out 
nicely. I'm honestly scared to even like flip it and see what it looks like on the other side. I'm loving the colors. Again, they're a little bit different on camera. The brown is like a nice cappuccino brown. It looks a bit darker in the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna flip it over and okay, that's doesn't look too bad. Um, so hopefully it's gonna hopefully it's gonna look good once I demold it. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh god, I'm so nervous. <sighs> okay. Not bad at all. Okay, so I am loving this color. It is absolutely beautiful. So gorgeous. But see where I'm pointing? I kind of wish that the gold flakes would have aligned with the colors. Um, so I kind of like don't like the gap, especially on the other side where you can see like a tiny bit of white. Um, but I mean, it's honestly still pretty, pretty amazing. It's way better than I expected. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, and there is like a nice clean line. Like I said before, um, I tried making this and I had some like really uneven lines, just like it kind of spilled all over and it really like seeped into the white. It just didn't look nice. So in this case, I am super, super happy with how, how it turned out. Honestly, it's pretty amazing. Um, so wow, I can't get enough of this. And like just this like cappuccino color is so gorgeous. Um, wow. I'm loving this so much. Like this is one of my best trays. But I just really wish that <laughs> the gold actually went along with the color. I know it's just, it's going to drive me crazy. Like, it's going to drive me crazy. Um, but no, overall, I think it looks pretty damn good. Looks pretty damn good to me. So, overall, it's like a 9 out of 10 for me. And honestly, it is one of my best ones. So I'm just doing a side-by-side -side here with another tray. Um, this is a black tray with gold flakes that I did just like an hour before. <laughs> that was my first one and did not turn out as well as I thought, but I'm actually going to make another video talking about it and what went wrong. So stay tuned. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.